Good evening, Mike. And you know, Jerome Ely was a healthy and strong 48 year old when COVID-19 changed his life forever. Really don't have an idea of what, where I contracted the virus from. I got sick on a Saturday, on a Friday afternoon at work and it kind of progressed on that Saturday and my wife decided that I needed to go to the hospital because my fever wouldn't go down. Ely was in the hospital for 32 days after being admitted on Saturday, March 14th for what they thought was pneumonia. He was tested on a Sunday and received the positive test results Tuesday, March 17th, at which point his health quickly declined. Thursday, the 19th, is when he really took a turn for the worse when he stored, um, couldn't keep his oxygen level up, and that's when they incubated him on that Thursday, and I had to leave the hospital. While her husband was intubated and in a coma, she received updates on his health over the phone from the staff at Southeast. Um, I was kind of unknown to this whole, that situation after that point. So I, I really didn't have a take on what was really going on. Ely was intubated for 21 days. They tried to extubate him, but his heart rate was too high and they had to put him back on the machine for seven days. Once they took him off the second time, he was not Jerome in a sense. Um, we had to medic medicate him as far as to, for him to come off some of the medication because he did go through a hard time. According to the Ely's, Jerome was given the experimental drug remdesivir. They do believe that they saw improvements in his health after that. And what they told us when he was actually the first case of COVID that it was properly treated because it was not in this area at the time. God was ahead of all of it, so I give the medication or man the credit, but we could see the improvement through the medication. And I'll have part two of my story with the Ely's tonight at 10. I'll dig a little deeper about life after COVID and returning home to Blakely. Again, Mike, that's tonight at 10.